Hey. Okay, so earlier this month when we met, we discussed that there were was going to be an enhancement to the intelligent agents or the release conditions that you can use when setting up intelligent agents that they, they were going to add what's called a not condition. So you can base your intelligent agent or release condition on something the student has not done in the course. So we're going to, I'm going to walk through real quick on how to set that up. It's very similar to how you set up any intelligent agent. Um, you just want to make sure to choose the not condition. So we're going to go to, into our course and click on edit course. And then under edit course, we're going to click on intelligent agents. And I'm going to click on new. And I'm going to give my intelligent agent a name, student quiz one. Okay. I would give it a description here so I can make sure I know what it is term to term. I'm going to check agent is enabled. I can set login activity if I'd like. Or I'm going to scroll down here to release conditions. So I'm going to click on create and attach because this is a new release condition that I'm going to create. I'm going to make this box a little bit bigger so you can see it. And then under the condition type, this is where the change comes in. Um, they've added, basically for every condition, they've added the uh, alternative. So they've completed a checklist or there is an incomplete checklist. So you can scroll down this list and you'll see the not conditions have been added. Um, the big ones are they haven't visited a content item, um, they haven't posted to a discussion, they haven't submitted to a Dropbox, um, they haven't received a grade on a, a, a particular grade item. This is great if you, especially if you manually enter your grade items. Um, they have no completed quiz attempt on a quiz. So for this, I'm going to say they haven't received a grade item. Okay, and I'm going to set on week one quiz. I'm going to hit create. And remember, you can create and attach multiple conditions. You can say that the student must meet all the conditions or at least some one of the conditions. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. I want to only do this the first time the user meets this criteria. I'm going to set a schedule. Again, very similar to um, the agents we set up during the workshop. The only difference is now we're going to say the student hasn't done something. So I want to repeat this daily during the week that week one is available in my class. So I'm going to set this. Maybe it started on Monday and it runs through um, next Tuesday. And I'll hit update. I'll format my message to my students. I'll put the initiating user in the to field. I'll format an email subject and message. And then I would hit save and close. And that's going to run for every student that has not received a grade on that quiz on the specific date.